Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Space Enthusiasts. In today's exciting news, we have an incredible update from NASA regarding the Artemis program. NASA has officially chosen Blue Origin as the second provider for the Artemis lunar lander missions. This decision marks a significant milestone in NASA's efforts to return humans to the moon and ultimately pave the way for future crewed missions to Mars. Join us as we dive into the details and explore the implications of this momentous announcement. Before we delve into the specifics, let's briefly recap the Artemis program. Named after the Greek goddess of the moon, Artemis aims to establish sustainable human exploration on Earth's celestial neighbor. This program seeks to land astronauts, including the first woman and the next man, on the lunar surface by 2024, leveraging innovative technologies and international collaborations. Initially, NASA selected three companies, including SpaceX, Dynetics, and Blue Origin, to develop lunar lander concepts for the Artemis program. Each company presented unique approaches and design concepts to meet NASA's requirements for crewed lunar landings. However, due to budget constraints, NASA had to make some tough decisions. After an extensive evaluation process, NASA has now announced that Blue Origin's proposal has been chosen for further development and potential use in future Artemis missions. This selection positions Blue Origin as the second provider alongside SpaceX, who was previously awarded a contract in 2020 to develop their Starship spacecraft for lunar landings. Blue Origin will design, develop, test, and verify its Blue Moon lander to meet NASA's human landing system requirements for recurring astronaut expeditions to the lunar surface, including docking with Gateway, a space station where crew transfer in lunar orbit. In addition to design and development work, the contract includes one uncrewed demonstration mission to the lunar surface before a crewed demo on the Artemis V mission in 2029. The total award value of the firm fixed price contract is $3.4 billion. For the Artemis V mission, NASA's SLS, Space Launch System rocket, will launch four astronauts to lunar orbit aboard the Orion spacecraft. Once Orion docks with Gateway, two astronauts will transfer to Blue Origin's human landing system for about a week-long trip to the Moon's South Pole region, where they will conduct science and exploration activities. Artemis V is at the intersection of demonstrating NASA's initial lunar exploration capabilities and establishing the foundational systems to support recurring complex missions in lunar orbit and on the surface as part of the agency's Moon to Mars exploration approach. Adding another human landing system partner to NASA's Artemis program will increase competition, reduce costs to taxpayers, support a regular cadence of lunar landings, further invest in the lunar economy, and help NASA achieve its goals on and around the Moon in preparation for future astronaut missions to Mars. The agency previously contracted SpaceX to demonstrate an initial human landing system for the Artemis III mission. Under that contract, the agency also directed SpaceX to evolve its design to meet the agency's requirements for sustainable exploration and to demonstrate the lander on Artemis IV. As a result of the contract with Blue Origin to demonstrate on Artemis V a lander that meets these same sustainable lander requirements, including capabilities for increased crew size, longer mission duration, and delivery of more mass to the moon, multiple providers will be available to compete for future opportunities to fulfill NASA's lunar surface access needs for Artemis missions. By supporting industry's development of innovative human landing system concepts and designs, NASA will help increase access to space for the benefit of all. Having two distinct lunar lander designs, with different approaches to how they meet NASA's mission needs, provides more robustness and ensures a regular cadence of moon landings," said Lisa Watson Morgan, manager. Human Landing System Program at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. This competitive approach drives innovation, brings down costs, and invests in commercial capabilities to grow the business opportunities that can serve other customers and foster a lunar economy. While this announcement is certainly exciting, it's important to acknowledge the challenges that lie ahead. Developing a lunar lander involves overcoming technical hurdles and meeting stringent safety requirements. Moreover, funding and budgetary considerations will play a crucial role in determining the pace and success of the Artemis program. The Artemis program has always emphasized international cooperation. With Blue Origin selection, there is a tremendous opportunity for expanded collaboration among countries and space agencies. This inclusivity enhances the program's scientific capabilities, promotes knowledge sharing, and strengthens diplomatic ties. 
NASA's selection of Blue Origin as the second Artemis lunar lander provider is a significant step forward in our journey back to the Moon. The combination of SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origin's Blue Moon brings diverse technological approaches and ensures redundancy for crewed lunar missions. As we eagerly anticipate the first Artemis landing in 2024, let's celebrate the power of collaboration and innovation, driving us towards a future where humans will once again explore and thrive on the lunar surface. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this update, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for